Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of my attachments for each operator in Crimson Heist. This has been a super frequently asked question across YouTube, Twitch, IG, TikTok, all of that good stuff. If you'd like to follow me on any of those platforms, the links are down below in the description. But yes, today I'm going to be covering my attachments in Siege, why I run them, why I run vertical grip over angle grip. Everybody's asking me this. Why do you run vertical grip when you have angle grip? I'm going to explain that today. If you guys are interested in that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, comment down below. Helps the YouTube algorithm. I would appreciate it. Anyways, though, let's move on into these attachments. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I went to record this video and I was like, yeah, I'll go operator by operator. Um, the video was like 45 minutes long. And all I said was that I run flash header, hollow and vertical grip. <laughs> so to keep you from wasting an hour of your time hearing me say flash header, hollow, vertical grip, laser sight, um, I'm kind of going to tell you, I just run flash header, hollow, vertical grip and laser sight. And if there's a 2x available, I use that. And if there's a 1.5x, I use that. Now, the reason for this is because the recoil season to season doesn't really change much. It does, and there are some barrel attachments which are better. One season, you'll maybe see muzzle break is a little bit better than flash header. But for the most part, compensator is never used by pretty much anybody. On certain guns, you may see it, maybe an Ella, maybe a Buck, you know, who knows. But for the most part, on most operators, you're never gonna see a compensator. You're never going to see a suppressor. It's usually between muzzle break and flash header. And personally, I just like to keep it simple. Stay on flash header. Keep it, you know, consistent between each season. So I don't generally like to switch. Although there are a few operators which I do run a different muzzle on. So I'll go ahead and cover that today. To quickly cover why exactly I run a vertical grip instead of angle grip. So here's the reason. All right. So think about this. You are sitting there at the hip, right? We're actually gonna go, we're gonna go into a TN for this one, okay? We're gonna go into a TN. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. But while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna kind of explain it. So imagine you are sitting there, your gun out at the hip, okay? And you're in a close quarters gunfight. Someone comes out, of you, they, they peek you out of nowhere, right? And you're like, well, it would be really great to have the angle grip. Well, for me, I say, I'd rather have a vertical grip and a laser sight, okay? And I'll show you why. Let me turn let me turn this down some. So so most people say, oh well, angle grip is gonna be great for close quarters because what if somebody pushes you, you're gonna be able to ADS and hit their head faster. And that is technically true. But what I wanna show you, let me let me kill these guys really quickly. So what I wanna show you really quickly is the hip fire spread. Okay. So let me just make sure I don't get pushed here. So look at the hip fire spread when I'm not ADS, okay? Standing still. Now, when you ADS, even though the crosshair disappears, you are actually tightening that spread as you ADS. So it's not, it doesn't work like this is your hip fire spread until you're here. No, it, it's actually getting tighter as you ADS. So my thought process is, okay, well, I'll throw the laser on. And when I'm halfway ADS, like say here, I'm going to be pretty much fully accurate from this range. I mean, look at this. Look how accurate that was. I'm kind of messing it up sometimes. Look how accurate that is. I mean, that's the size of someone's head right there, okay? And I was standing, what, here? That's five meters, okay? Now, I would love to run that instead. See, I wasn't even fully ADS there. I'd rather love that, and, uh, that instead, the vertical grip, and have perfect recoil control at range, rather than having a little bit extra ADS speed for close range gun fights. Because for me, it just doesn't make too much sense when I could just run the laser sight. So boom, that answers, you know, two frequently asked questions. Why do I run the laser sight? Why do I run the vertical grip? That is why. So let me quickly go back to the menu. We'll go over the rest of my attachments and continue on this video. Hey, all right. So I just got back from my, uh, for the TN there and I got 90 ELO back. Thank God, because I have lost so much ELO to cheaters. I don't know, I'll show you guys really quickly. I was like decently into plat one. Uh, and I played cheater after cheater after cheater after cheater. I am waiting for so much elo to come back. So thank God for that 90 plus elo right there. Anyways, though, on to the rest of my attachments. So uh, again, I, I really do just run flash hider, uh, vertical grip, laser sight on pretty much everybody. I will tell you, there are a few where I do run angle grip. So for example, I like to run angle grip on where are they? uh do, 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 do alibi alibi is a good operator to run angle grip on 
uh, I, of course i'm on vertical when i say that but trust me i do normally run it it's just my game was bugged and all my attachments got reset so this is really bad timing to do a, an attachments video but i do like to run angler up on this operator as well as uh mozzie uh, and a rooney the roni i really like to have the anchor up on these operators um anyways though yeah that that's it besides maybe capkin yeah capkin and i think frost is there even an anchor up on frost this is bad guys I, I don't play these operators okay <laughs> yeah there is all right yeah so anyways that that's basically it to be honest with you guys for the most part even on visual i do run the angle grip or not the angle grip the vertical grip i just i love my recoil control man i love those long range spawn peaks lasering people it's great and like the macro accusations i get here on youtube and tiktok and everything people like think i have a macro because my recoil is perfect not nah, man it's just the vertical grip bro honestly uh, even on pulse i run it you know <laughs> um anyways though uh for other barrel attachments you know as i said before i do run just the flash hider on pretty much everybody there are certain operators though that i do run say a muzzle break on and for example that would be ella here so i actually do run well <laughs> of course again i'm running flash hider now i actually do run the muzzle break so i made a video on my channel it broke down each individual barrel attachment and grip and i determined from like statistical analysis that muzzle break was the best uh barrel attachment for ella at the time now that was like two seasons ago but i do think it may still hold up but the difference between flash hider and muzzle break honestly aren't that substantial so i would recommend watching that video catch up on which barrel attachment is the best for ella personally i think it's muzzle break if you just kind of want to skip to the the point there but uh you know either or is is pretty good so that's pretty much it to be honest guys like i don't really run anything crazy on any other operators um you guys know me i i don't like my acogs i don't like the extra zoom it, it feels too slow i feel restricted along long range long range gunfights i feel like it incentivizes bad players to play slow which is not the way you're supposed to be playing especially on attack you need to be getting to the building you need to be pushing you need to be taking map control planting that bomb and i feel like acogs just don't incentivize that so for the most part i i really don't use them i don't use a 3x i don't use anything like that that's why you don't see me in operators like cali very often um I, I i love my hollow i'm not a big fan of the old hollow or the uh the new hollow sorry that's why i run the 1.5 on on slide share i i just don't like my i don't like the acogs don't like the red dot don't like the reflex uh, the new hollow is not that good, so I stick with the 1.5. If it's uh, the 2x or the old hollow is not available, um, and that's that's pretty much my my thought process for attachments here, guys. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Helps YouTube algorithm out. I would appreciate it. Trying to get to 200k subscribers by the end of this year. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm about to hit 100,000 followers on Twitch. That would be really really cool. Anyways, I've got the rest of my links down below in the description. Coaching service, second channel, social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Hope you guys have a good day and thank you so much for watching.